about the ABAP basic classical report events. So there are basic reports, there are interactive reports. So today we are discussing about the basic report events. So what are the basic report events that we have in general is the basic report events in ABAP is our load of program, initialization, at selection screen, start of selection, end of selection, top of page and end of page. So in these events, load of program is the only event which we are not going to call it physically into the program. So it will be triggered by default whenever we have a program being executed. So whenever we execute a program by default, the load of program will get triggered. And then from initialization onwards, we are going to write, write it in our program. And these are the classical report events. Now here, load of program is basically whenever we execute the program. And this is an event which is used to load the program into memory execution. And, and this is the first event in the execution sequence. So here we have the initialization. So initialization is an event under which you can write the code to initialize some values. And in general, even if you don't write initialization, the variables can be initialized. For example, you have declared some employee number, EMPNO of length 10. And that you can write the value, you can assign a value even without initialization. But there are certain fields for which you, can, you have to give it in the initialization. Those are the selection screen which you have seen in the program. So here, this event is used to initialize variables, screen default values, and other default actions. So uh, triggered before displaying the selection screen. Even before the selection screen is dis displayed, initialization will trigger, will be triggered. Now next event is at selection screen. At selection screen event is basically used to, to trigger what the user has given an action. For example, you have clicked something. Anything you, have, you click on the selection screen, the at selection screen event gets triggered. So you have to write the logic in at selection screen, whichever is pertain to, pertaining to the selection screen. So in the selection screen, if some validations have to be done, these validations are done in the at selection screen. And in this, like for example, if you are giving some input, if there's an invalid input, so you should get a pop-up or a message that you know this is an invalid input. Or you have to sometimes check whether the data is there for this select statement or not. You can check whether the data is there in the select statement and immediately you can give a pop-up in the selection screen uh, that you know there is no data for this select statement, okay, the, the, for this select condition. And even before you go to the next screen, here itself you'll know that there is no data. Okay, those kind of things can be done in the at selection screen. In at selection screen, again, we have sub sub events like you know we have at selection screen on value requests, at selection screen on unfield, at selection screen on help requests. These events we are going to discuss them uh, later. But as of now, we, we are going to discuss about the main events. So this is these are the you know sub events of at selection screen, at selection screen output, at selection screen on field, at selection screen on value request. Okay, now here we have startup selection. Startup selection is the default event that gets triggered whenever you are executing a program. And now when this gets triggered is whenever, whenever it does, the program comes across of the first select statement. In, in your entire program, if there is a select statement, if it's a first select statement, thus that first select statement will trigger the uh, startup selection. Now in this event, we're going to have, this is basically, you know, this is a default event which is used to write actual and business logic and triggered only after the processing of the selection screen. And is over that is uh, when the user clicks the clicks the execute uh, icon on the selection screen. So now if, if, if there is already at selection screen, if somebody has given an input, okay, after input and after the execution is done, automatically the selection, startup selection will be triggered. Now end of selection is something which is not default or not mandatory in any of the programs. We basically use the end of selection to just tell to the system that all our select, pro select commands have been completed and you just are using the right statements. So this is basically a very, end of selection plays a major role when we are using the logical databases. And logical database